All right, good morning. This will be a quick video here. I'm just going to give a demo of why you should put your code that you're developing for my courses in Dropbox. So here I am working on my code, and um, I'm going to make some changes here. And uh, yeah, something like that. And, oh, 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 no, I erased all that stuff. Oh, man, I want to get back that code. This wasn't realistic, but maybe you feel like I'd like to have the version of the program I had this morning, but I don't have any backups. Well, what could you do? Well, fortunately, we're actually in Dropbox right now in this file. You can see that I have this saved in your Dropbox folder. Um, and if you have Dropbox installed, you probably have this little icon at the top that shows your recently changed files. If you uh, click on that file, it'll bring it up in your Finder or whatever you call it in your um, Microsoft Windows, which I don't use, but whatever. We right click on that file and then we could either say view on dropbox.com to see it in Dropbox as a web browser or um, view the previous versions. You could get to the previous versions from dropbox.com, I'll show that in a second. Or you could share the Dropbox links if you're sharing this with someone. So I'm going to go to view previous versions. You'll notice it links up if you have something like NoScript installed that's going to freak out there. You've got to tell it to go manually. But look at that, we have some versions saved from seconds ago, and then I have, oh, I have versions from an hour ago, I was working on this in class with my students, or I could go way back in time to older stuff and say, I want that version I had three hours ago. Um, I can't remember how many versions that Dropbox saves for you, I'll have to take a look at that, but the nice thing is you can go and grab that old version and then save it. So this will save your butt when you're trying to uh, write code and you screw up and you don't have a backup and you want to get the older version. So save in Dropbox. Not just that, that'll help you for some things. And uh, Dropbox will also save you if you want a previous version of your file. Alright, thanks.